Good morning, folks. We've got a couple top articles to hit today on catastrophe and electroquakes. There was a big quake yesterday, and we've got flashing bottom left quadrant on our star as we begin at spaceweathernews.com. We find the last 24 hours were technically quiet, but activity is building. The southern active region came out of nowhere and is already starting to lift the X-ray returns of small solar flares. The small sunspots behind it were already cresting into view when this new sunspot was born. We had said it would only be about a week of solar quiet. Two days ago, we said it was coming to an end. And hello. Eyes on this one. Anyway, here's yesterday's big quake. Luckily, it was centered offshore and the tsunami warnings were lifted quickly. Big one in the Flores Sea of Indonesia. Let's transition to the science articles with an aesthetic piece from SVS showing the Earth Observing Fleet. They do keep adding to this every year, they kind of have to, and I can remember how sparse this annually released animation was about a decade ago compared to the much more crowded picture now. Up first in the articles, we are right back to quakes. This one looks back at a major Baja quake in 2010. Sadly folks, this is often how long it takes for the data to be analyzed, seriously, but either way. The bajillionth confirmation of pre-seismic electric signals in the atmosphere solidifies the concept once again. As we focused on the last couple cycles in yesterday's top story, here's one focusing on what happened just before the last two cycles. Veteran observers who remember the Lachamp event was terrible for the Americas, confirmation here showing rapid temperature fluctuations and ice sheet dynamics for the region at the time. And after Mono Lake, the event 36,000 years ago, the temperatures began their major dive towards the last glacial maximum in the Lake Mungo excursion 24,000 years ago. Excellent confirmations. And last but not least, folks, this one offers two items other than the general confirmation that our field continues to weaken. They say that in the last 50 to 70 years, despite the faster movement of the North Magnetic Pole, it's the South Pole that is now at lower field strength than the Northern Sector. And just because it's helpful to read it in the papers, even if you've heard it a thousand times. Yes, these are major issues upcoming for the biosphere, climate, and everything technological. Global warming versus this event is like stretching versus the 100 meter dash. Lace them up, everyone. We greatly appreciate your support. The disaster playlist below the video is a great resource on this topic. So is our book, available as a PDF at otf.cells.com. And we are in the last two weeks for observers to get their names memorialized on the Observer Ranch founder wall, also at otf.cells.com. We've got wind maps and shots of our star to close. Subscribe and we'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.